Let's look at a few more examples of subspaces. We'll start with two generic examples. Suppose that V is any vector space. To be a vector space, V contains a zero vector. And the set containing the zero vector and O and V the zero vector is the trivial subspace. Certainly the zero vector belongs to this set. Any vector times the zero vector is the zero vector and still belongs to this set. Since this set only contains one vector, the only addition we can do is zero plus zero. That is still the zero vector. And it still belongs to this set. Includes zero, closed under scalar multiplication, closed under addition. We can add vectors, subtract vectors, and multiply vectors by scalars. So we can talk about the span of vectors. We defined this in the specific case of Rn, but we can talk about linear combinations of vectors in any vector space. And the span is always a subspace. Going through these quickly, zero is certainly in the span. Just set all of these coefficients equal equal to zero. The span is closed under scalar multiplication, because if you take any scalar and multiply it, by a linear combination of these vectors, the result is still a linear combination of these vectors. And it's closed under addition, because if you take two linear combinations and add them together, we can combine like terms, and we still have a linear combination of these vectors. Let's actually call the video here. 
with these two generic examples, and then we'll give some vector space specific examples in a separate video.